In this video, we are going to learn how to draw shear force diagram and PD movement diagram for a simply supported beam as shown in figure. So the statement is given as draw shear force and PD movement diagram for a simply supported beam AB 4 meter long is loaded as shown in figure. So this is the simply supported beam of length 4 meter carrying a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter over a length of 1 meter and there is one point load of 4 kN which is acting on the beam at point C. So for this setup we have to draw the shear force diagram and bending movement diagram. So first of all I will draw the free body diagram for this beam section. So for solving this numerical problem, first we have to convert this uniformly distributed load into point load. So to convert this, I will multiply this UDL value with the length over which they are UDL act. So the point load equal to UDL of 2 kN per meter multiplied by distance CD that is 1 meter. So here I will get the converted point load of 2 kN. Now this converted point load is acting on the midpoint of the length over which the UDL acts. Now this type of problem we are going to solve in three steps. In the first step, we have to calculate the values of support reaction forces R A and R B. So to calculate these values, I will use two equations of equilibrium. That is, first equation is summation Fy equal to 0 that means addition of all forces in the vertical axis equal to 0 and the second equation is summation of moment equal to 0 so here in the first equation while I am doing the addition of all vertical forces I will consider upward forces as positive and downward forces as negative here R and RP are the vertical reaction forces so as per the sign convention I will add these forces with positive sign and the point load of 4 kN is acting on the beam in the downward direction so as per the sign convention I will add this force with negative sign and converted point load is acting on the beam in the downward direction so as per the sign convention I will add this force with negative sign Therefore, after calculating, this will get the equation that is R A plus R B equal to 6 kN. So I will give this as equation number 1. Now the next equation is summation of moment equal to 0. So for calculating moment, either we can take moment at point A or at point B. And here my sign convention would be clockwise moment as positive and anticlockwise moment as negative. So for taking moment at point A, I will fix beam at point A. Now here 4 kN force will be pushing this beam towards downward. So it rotated the beam clockwise from fixed point. And as per the sign convention, for clockwise moment, I will add this force with positive sign. Now as per decided, moment is always force multiplied by distance from fixed point. So here plus 4 kN is the force into 1.5 meter is the distance from fixed point and here converted point load of 2 kN will be pushing this beam towards downward so it rotated the beam clockwise from fixed point and for clockwise movement I will add this force with positive sign and the moment is forced into distance from fixed point so here plus 2 kN is the converted point load into 2 meter is the distance from fixed point. Now here reaction force RB will be pushing this beam towards upward. So it rotates the beam anticlockwise from fixed point. So as per the sign convention for anticlockwise movement, I will add this force with negative sign. And as per decided, moment is forced into distance from fixed point. So here minus RB is the force 
into 4 meter is the distance from fixed point. So these are the moments which we have. So therefore, by calculating, this will get the value of reaction force Rp as 2.5 kN. Now I will put this value in equation number 1 and after calculating, this will get the value of reaction force Ra as 3.5 kN. So now with the help of these calculated values of Ra and Rp, I will further calculate the values of shear forces at all the points of beam. So the next step is calculations of shear forces. And for shear force calculation, our sign convention is upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces are considered as negative. And here you should note that while calculating the shear force at a particular point load, you can calculate shear force values for left side and right side of that particular point load. But while calculating the shear force at uniformly distributed load, you should calculate shear force values at start point and end point of uniformly distributed load. That is shear force at point C and shear force at point D. We need to calculate. But in this problem, at point C, there is point load of 4 kN. Hence, as per the rule for point load, I will calculate shear force values at left side and right side of that point load. And here at point A and point B, there are support reaction forces R A and R B, which are the point loads. Hence, as per the rule for point load, I will calculate the shear force values at left side and right side of point A and point B. Therefore, first to calculate shear force at point A to its left, that is SF at A to the left, equal to so as you can see, there is no force is acting at the left side of point A. Therefore, SF at A to the left equal to 0 kN. So to draw the shear force diagram, I will first draw a horizontal reference line of 0 kN shear force. And here I will mark this point of 0 kN shear force on the reference line that is shear force at point A to its left is 0 kN. Now if I go to the section, to the right side of point A, that is SF at A to the right, equal to then there is reaction force Ra, which is acting on the beam in the upward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider upward forces as positive. So here the shear force is plus 3.5 kN. Here as the shear force value is positive, so I will mark this point above the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And I'll connect these two points with a vertical line. Now at point C, there is one point load. Therefore, first to calculate shear force at point C to its left, that is SF at C to the left, equal to. And here I'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point A to its right, which is 3.5 kN. And when we go to the left side of point C, then there is no load acting on the beam at left side of point C. Therefore, SF at C to the left equal to 3.5 kN. Here as you can see, there is no variation in shear force values. Hence, I will make the horizontal line with shear force value as 3.5 kN. Now next to calculate shear force at point C to its right, that is SF at point C to its right equal to so here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point C to its left which is 3.5 kN and when we go to the right side of point C then there is one point load of 4 kN in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention I will consider downward force as negative. So here I will add this point load of 4 kN with negative sign. So by calculating this will get the shear force value as minus 0.5 kN. Here as the shear force value is negative, hence I will mark this point below the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And I will connect these two points with a vertical line. Now the point T is the end point of uniformly distributed load. 
So I'm taking section to the point T, that is SF at point T equal to, and here I'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point C to its right, which is minus 0.5 kN, and to the left side of point T, there is uniformly distributed load, which we had already converted into point load in the downward direction, and as per the sign convention, I will consider downward force as negative. Hence, I will add this point load of 2 kN with negative sign. Therefore, after calculating, this will get the shear force value as minus 2.5 kN. Here, as the shear force value is negative, hence I will mark this point of minus 2.5 kN shear force below the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And here the type of load is UDL over the length of 1 meter. Hence, to draw the shear force diagram, I will indicate UDL with an inclined line. So, I will connect these two points with an inclined line. Now, at point B, there is reaction force RB. Therefore, first to calculate shear force at point B to its left, that is SF at B to the left, equal to, and here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point T, which is minus 2.5 kN. And when we go to the left side of point B, then there is no load acting on the beam at left side of point B. Therefore, SF at P to the left equal to minus 2.5 kN. Here, as you can see, there is no variation in shear force values. Hence, I will make the horizontal line with shear force value as minus 2.5 kN. Now, next to calculate. Shear force at point P to its right, that is SF at B to the right, equal to. So here I'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point P to its left, which is minus 2.5 kN. And when we go to the right side of point B, then there is reaction force RP in the upward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider upward force as positive. So here I will add. This upward force of 2.5 kN with positive sign. So here minus 2.5 plus 2.5 gives me the value of shear force at 0 kN. So I will mark this point of 0 kN shear force on the reference line and I'll connect these two points with a vertical line. And here is shear force diagram. What are the portion drawn above the reference line? I will show this portion by positive sign. And the portion which is drawn below the reference line, I will show this portion by negative sign. So here I have completed the shear force diagram. Now the next step is calculations of bending movement. So the bending movement at a section of beam is calculated as the algebraic sum of the movement of all the forces acting on one side of section. So to calculate bending moment, we can start either from left end of beam or from right end of beam. Here I will start from left end of beam. So whenever you are calculating the bending moments, you should remember these conditions. So here for simply supported beam, the condition is at the ends of simply supported beam, the bending moment will be zero. So bending moment at point A and bending moment at point B will be zero. So to draw the bending moment diagram, firstly I will draw the reference line of bending moment zero kN meter. So here I will mark these values with the points on the reference line. So now we have to calculate bending moment at point C. So here, in case of simply supported beam, while you are doing the calculations for bending moment, at a particular point, you should always add movement of all the forces present either from left end of beam or from right end of beam up to that particular point at which you are calculating the bending moment. And for bending moment calculation, our sign convention is for sagging effect of beam, the force is considered as positive, and for hugging effect of beam, the force is considered as negative. Here at left hand side of point C, 
there is reaction force array due to this force the beam shows sagging effect and for sagging effect of beam i will consider this force as positive so i will add this force with positive sign and as per decided the moment is force into distance so i will multiply this force with the distance that is 1.5 meter therefore after calculating this will get the value 5.25 kN meter so as it is positive value hence i'll mark this point of bending moment above the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter now there is no load present on the beam between point a and point c therefore to draw the bending moment diagram i will connect these two points with an inclined line now next to calculate bending moment at point d that is b of surface d equal to here at right hand side of point d there is reaction force rb due to this force the beam shows sagging effect and for sagging effect of beam i will consider this force as positive so i will add this force with positive sign and as per decided moment is force into distance so we'll multiply this force with the distance that is 1.5 meter therefore after calculating this will get the bending moment value equal to 3.75 kN meter so as it is positive value hence i'll mark this point above the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter and here between point c and point d there is uniformly distributed load therefore to draw the bending moment diagram i will indicate uniformly distributed load with a parabolic curve hence i will join these two points with a parabolic curve and there is no any load present on the beam between point d and point p therefore to draw the bending moment diagram i will connect these two points with an inclined line now since i can see this bending moment diagram is drawn above the reference line hence i'll show this portion by positive sign so here i have completed the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam